Okay, <clears throat> this is our last regular test for the school year. So volume, what is the volume of the pyramid? So let's start with volume of a pyramid, which is base times height divided by three. So the base is a rectangle. So we plug in what we know up here. So I we'll have 7.8 times 9.6. And that's the base times the height, 8.4, divided by 3. And I'll plug that in my calculator. So that one's nice and easy, just plugging everything into the correct formula. So 7.8 times 9.6 times 8.4, divided by 3. I got 209.66. Okay, find the volume of the pyramid. So another pyramid one. So let's start with our formula. Volume equals base times height divided by 3. The base is a rectangle, so that's also base times height. So 30 times 24 times the height. Now we don't know the height. We know the slant height is 20. So if this is 24, that means this is 12. So I can do Pythagorean theorem to find the height. And I got 16. I got 256, and the square root of 256 is 16. So now I can put that in for the height of the pyramid. Divide by 3. And I got 3,840 meters cubed. Find the volume of a cube with a 5 meter edge. So volume of a cube, that's just a prism, base times height. The base is a square, so base times height and all the sides are the same. So five times five times five is a 125, don't forget your units, meters cubed because it's volume. Number four, a square pyramid has a height that is 51 inches and a base with sides that are each three feet long. Find the volume of the pyramid per cubic foot. So volume equals base times height divided by 3. So volume equals the square, so base times height times height divided by 3. So I'm going to find it in inches first, <coughs> cubic inches first. So I have the base, each side is 3 feet long, and it's 51 inches high. So 3 times 3 times 51 divided by 3. So the volume is 153 inches cubed. So if I want to find the uh, cubic feet, I'm going to divide, but I can't just divide by 12. We'll come back to this one. I want to just double check that it's, I'm pretty sure it's 12 cubed, but it's early in the morning, so I'll come back to that one. Number five, a pyramid has a height of 10 inches and a base of, with an area of 21 square inches. So again, we're still dealing with a pyramid here. Now they give us the area of the base, so that means I don't have to find it. I can just plug in 21, plug in the height, which is 10, and divide by three. So I got 70 inches cubed. Number six, find the volume of the cone. So volume equals base times height divided by three. The base is a circle, so pi r squared. So pi times 12 squared. So the diameter is 24, so that means the radius is 12. And they don't give us the height. We have the slant height, but we need to find the height. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. And I got that the height is 35. So I can plug in 35 right here. Divide by 3. Oops. Okay, 
number seven. A cylinder below is 10 inches tall and 11 inches long. Find the volume of the cylinder. So 10 inches tall and 11 inches long. So volume of a cylinder is just base times height. The base is a circle, so pi r squared. So pi times 5 squared times 11. 863. Number 8, find the volume of the prism. So volume equals base times height of a prism. The base is a triangle, so base times height divided by 2. Let's see, so here's our triangle right here. The base of the triangle is 6. So I can put 6 in, but I don't know the height, so I'll have to find the height here. So if I drop that height down, this is 3. So I can do 25 minus 9 is 16, which means the height is 4. So the height's 4 divided by 2, and the height of the prism is 12. So volume equals 144 centimeters cubed. A cylinder has a 12 foot radius and a 17 foot height. Find the volume of the cylinder if the radius was doubled. So volume of the cylinder <coughs> is base times height. The base is a circle, so pi r squared. So pi times 12 squared times 17. So the original volume is 7690.6 um, feet cubed. But now they want us to find it if the radius is doubled. So there's two ways you can do this. You can take this volume right here and instead of the radius being 12, it would be 24. So I can put that in. And I got three zero, oops, three zero seven six two point five. The other thing you can do is take the original volume and multiply it by 2 squared because the radius the radius is squared in here and so we want to square that again. So either way, if you just want to redo it with the radius doubled, you could do that. That way you're unsure that you did it correctly. So the new volume is that 3. 30,762.5 feet cubed. Number 10, a fish tank is 16 inches long, 13 inches wide, and 11 inches high. Find its volume if the dimensions were one fourth the size. So this is a prism, base times height. The base is a rectangle. So the volume of the original is 16 by 13 by 11. So 2288, uh, what is that, inches cubed. So if the dimensions are one-fourth its size, I can take that volume, divide it by 4 to the third power, which is 35.75 inches cubed. Remember, if, you're, if everything in the volume changes, then you raise it to the third power. A right triangular pyramid has a 15-meter height and a base with legs that are 3 meters and four meters long. Find the volume of the triangular pyramid. So volume is base times height divided by three. The base is a triangle, so base times height divided by two. So the base of the triangle, let's see, it says three and four meters long. So three times four divided by two times the height of the pyramid, 15, divided by three. Thirty uh, meters cubed. 
Number 12, prove that the cylinder has a larger volume. Okay, so we're going to find the cylinder, or the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the prism. So the volume of the cylinder is base times height. The base is a circle, so pi r squared. So volume equals pi r squared times 2r. If I simplify that, I put the 2 pi in front, and then I have r cubed. Okay, for the prism, same thing, base times height, but the base is a rectangle, so base times height. So we have 3r times r oops, times 2r, which would be 6r to the third. Now, here I have a 6 in front of r cubed. Here I have a 2 pi. So what you probably want to do, you want to put 2 pi in your calculator, and I see that it's 6.28. So if I rewrote this, 6.28 r cubed compared to 6 r cubed, 6.28 r cubed is bigger. A right triangular prism has a 15 meter height and base legs that are 3 meters and 4 meters. Find surface area. So now be careful here because we're switching it up on you with surface area. So surface area is perimeter times height plus 2 times the base. So perimeter of the base, it's a triangular prism. So if you have base, base legs that are 3 and 4, it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So if I add those together, we get 12 times the height of the prism is 15, plus 2 times the base, and since it's a triangle, it's going to be base times height divided by 2. So that's going to be 3 times 4 divided by 2. So surface area equals 12 times 15 plus 2 times 6, so 192. And this is surface area, so it's just meters squared. Sam is filling a rectangular pan with liquid from a cylindrical can, which has a height of 7 inches. The can is three-fourths full of water. Determine whether all of the water will fit in the pan. Okay, so let's find the volume of the pan, which is a cylinder, uh, I'm sorry, a prism. So volume equals 8 times 6 times 2. So the volume is 96 inches cubed. That's of the pan. The volume of the cylinder is still base times height, but then the base is a circle, so pi r squared. So pi times 3 squared times 7. Which is 197.92. Oh, now that's the volume of, this is the volume of the whole cylinder, but it says that the can is just three-fourths full of water. So if I multiply this by three-fourths, I get 148.44. So that's how much water is in the cylinder.